My mom passed away when I was a little baby and my father, he was never around. So when my mom passed away, I went into foster care, of course. My aunt had got me out of foster care and my aunt pretty much took over the whole mother role. I didn't know what gay was, but when I got into like, you know, middle school, like my last year in middle school, and then I went to high school, I was like, okay, I'm gay. Pretty much, yeah, I'm gay. This is what it is. So in middle school, I started like going through the changes of like changing my clothes, doing stuff to my hair. I would like be a little bit more feminine than what I usually would have been, but in high school, everything changed drastically. Like, I was like getting into makeup, I was getting into hair, I had all different types of colors in my hair. Like I was, you know, going through the teenage phase. Like, that's what you do. And she knew I was gay when I started playing a lot of Lady Gaga and RuPaul type stuff. And then her boyfriend at the time was like, you know what Lady Gaga stands for? And I was like, yes, I know who she is. I know what she do. I know, like I'm getting into it, like I know. And he was just always supportive. Her boyfriend, Kareem, was so supportive. He really was. And then I remember one time I was watching TV and I didn't know who Madonna was, but I just said her, she was up to Vogue and I was living for it. And I was like mimicking everything she was doing on like the TV. He walked downstairs and he was like, look at him. <laughs> like just tears of joy. When Kareem died, things got worse. My cousin who lives at home is homophobic and things with my aunt got worse. So she would try to say, you should dress more like a boy, you know, more boyish and more butch, you know, just so people won't hurt you or say anything negative to you. But I don't stand for that. I'm gonna be myself to the day I die, period. So I'm not living for you, I'm living for myself. When I'm at home, I'm very uncomfortable. I feel like I'm always being put down or watched like, I'm somebody else out of the street and just living in their house, so I tend to go to different places, but I feel more comfortable. There's not enough space in the smile housing facility. I hope in the future they have more space for people like me. Yeah, I do really need to save space. I feel like having a safe space would be good for me, like emotionally and physically. Yeah, I'd be good. I'd be more stable. So you gotta come in smiles with a smile on your face with a can-do attitude. Or should I say a queer attitude? <laughs> I spent a lot of time in Smile. I've been coming to Smile for uh, three years now. So this has been like my safe haven. This has been my place, to, my go-to place, you know, to relax and unwind. And you know, it's really a good, safe environment for the LGBTQ people. So in Smiles, we do a lot of activities where we can have like, okay, we can have Vogue night, Vogue night, put on your makeup, put on different outfits, and just, you know, have fun listening to music and just Vogue, like having fun. And then certain nights we would have, you know, game night where everybody have like, you know, like different types of activities out and games and you can win prizes and stuff like that. Or we have a night where we call it movie night out back and you know have the projection screen out and chairs and blankets and popcorn, snacks and stuff and have a good time. I come to smiles almost every single day. I'm like brushing the smiles because I want to see who's here, what they're doing. It's outside of here could be a whole different ball game and like and here's everyone is like loving, caring, nurturing. It's like people of your own kind, like people that just like you. I grown a lot coming to Smiles. It builds my confidence even more, like makes me more happy and anxious to get here. Cause it's like, it's like, oh my God, what is Smiles doing today? Like, I want to come inside Smiles and see what's going on, catch up with the girls and stuff. And like the staff is like family, like everybody is is family. Everyone's nice to each other. It's just that vibe. Like you just gotta come to the youth center and see and find out for yourself. Like. Yeah, I'm not just saying it. I'm like, it's really like a family here. Like, it's lit. I live for it.